Jason Rodriguez, everybody. Life's good for me. I have a mustache now. Everyone likes it. Mostly guys. Mostly guys with mustaches. Love my mustache. There's a, there's a whole facial hair community. They're all into it now. It gets weird. One guy with a mustache, me once, he was like, anyone ever say you got like a pedophile stash? And I was like, no. Nah. And he was like, I get that all the time. Like, that's just you. That's, you should probably shave. It's clout you don't want. Yeah, no one says about me. No one says I have a pedophile stash. I think because I have a body of a victim. I think that's why. I think. And people see my face like, oh, what a creep. They look down. I like, ah, it's an Indian teenager. Never mind. Like, I wish I had a beard, though. A beard seems manly. Look, like you work with your hands. I look like I work with my hands in like a different kind of, like a... Uh, was that good form? I don't fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, what else is there? Yeah, I remember one of my buddies. Oh, I'm done. Cool. What do you do for work, Jason? I work at a poke place. A poke place? Yeah, you know oh poke? Oh my goodness. Bobby. Yeah, we know what poke is. Poke. Yeah. Because we yeah. know planet Earth! Okay, all right. I knew, I knew you did. I know that for sure, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. He said you do for sure. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Where's the gong? <laughs> oh. You have any special skills or talents that we'd be surprised to know about about you? Uh, I, was, uh, I can build furniture really fast. Okay. I can, uh... So you are Latino. That checks out. Yeah, Indeed. That's what Rodriguez. <laughs> Is there anything that we'd be surprised to know that you can yeah. do? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I can do like 30 push-ups, I think. Really? Yeah. You think you can do 30 push-ups? Yeah, not in a, not in a Dude, row. I can do 30. You can do 30? You can do I've 30? Never, I've never done it, but I think I can. <laughs> you right? Let's do it. The old dirty 30 with Bobby Lee and Jason Rodriguez. 30 push-ups. Wait, Jason, you got to do them too. Four, five. 28, 29, 30. Ow. He's dead, everybody. He's dead. Oh my goodness. Welcome to Kill Bobby. Oh my god. That was amazing. Oh my goodness. How about a hand for Bobby Lee, everybody? Wow, that was so good. Jason, you're not going to get off that. Oh my god. Fuck. Fucking 50 clean, baby. Hell wow. yes. Shout out to Ways to Well. Testosterone's doing good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't come anymore, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Bert the Machine Kreischer is joining the party, everybody. <laughs> this is one of the worst podcasting segments of all time. For those of you listening to the show, people are doing push-ups. And here we go. One, two, it's not happening. Three. It's not happening. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Jason Rodriguez, Grant Adcock, everybody. I love drinking. Uh, people actually tell me I drink too much. I tell them all the same thing. I say, you don't even fucking know what you're talking about. Uh, uh. Are you guys a couple? Yeah, a couple dipshits. <laughs> All right. Welcome. <laughs> I, uh, I read a cool stat. Uh, 2023 officially had the highest percentage of mentally handicapped homeowners of all time. Yeah, guys, get loud for that. That's a big deal. That's got to be a tough guy to have as a landlord, right? The fourth of the month comes up, you haven't paid rent. You get a text message, it's just a voice memo from your retarded landlord. All it says is, time to pay the piper. <laughs> All, right. All right, 60 seconds from Grant Adcock, rock solid. What do you do for work? Uh, I work at Sunset, actually. I work, uh, I, uh, I'm a barista. 
Oh, barista at Red uh, Band's Comedy yeah. Club. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, second highest, highest seat. Oh, never mind. There you go. <laughs> do you have any special maneuvers in the bedroom or something that you do to please her, the rent-paying woman that cleans up after you? <laughs> that was a bunch. Um, no, and I need to fucking keep it together, I guess, because that's, uh, you know, I, uh, I, sometimes I try to talk. Wait, during sex? Yeah, I'll be like, you like that dick or something? Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, my you know? oh my goodness. That's Crazy. like a genuine question. Do you like that yeah, dick? So. <laughs> That's how it comes off. It's not really hot, so. Yeah, um. you sound like you were genuinely asking. Uh. As though you had another dick that you could yeah. put in there. <laughs> or you work for the census. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one hearing like a Norm McDonald vibe from him a little? Uh, yeah. He's a little, uh, he's a little thick though, like Norm McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Karen Jones, everybody. In your interview on the Rogan show, they were just, uh, uh, Joe Rogan was reading what the paper wrote that I stormed a line was that when I was on an yes. episode of Rogan yeah. I talked about how you got in trouble for storming the Capitol but on I January said, 6th no that the newspaper accused me of that right and you said you can neither it. confirm nor deny that you yes. were in Nancy Pelosi's and, office on that day no 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 <laughs> I can deny that but anyway a patriot someone says <laughs> There she is. Well, I felt insane. I would have opened with Storm the Capitol. I am so shocked I'm standing next to one of them. It's like You should be. Not, you, know, you guys are like great white sharks. We never see you. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. I was uh I was thinking about a traumatizing thing that happened in my life. And uh one of them was uh, I was 15 years old. I went to my first strip club. And the person that took me was my cousin Natron. Now whoever you see when I say Natron, that's that nigga, dog. <laughs> My uncle looked at his newborn baby boy and was like, mm-hmm, Decepticon. <laughs> that's crazy as fuck, dog. He can only be two things in life, an NFL player or a prisoner. <laughs> and Natron was both. So, uh... <laughs> This is the first we're hearing of Natron. Yeah, yeah, my cousin Natron. My goodness. Hell yeah. It's amazing. You have so many of these references <laughs> and stories. I've never heard of Natron before. Does he live in... Uh... Nah, he live in Temple. Where? He live in Temple. Tampa. Yeah, yeah, Tampa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I grew up in Tampa, yeah, yeah. I, and I know black guys from Tampa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought for sure he was saying temple there. I thought maybe he was at a Jewish synagogue of some kind, but no, Tampa yeah. is where Natron lives. What's Natron up to nowadays? What does a guy like Natron do for a living? He's doing good, man. He owns like a bouncy house business right now. Bouncy house business? Yeah, he's doing great. <laughs> so a lot of money in that. There's a whole lot, there's a lot of money in that. Yeah, because you buy it and then you pay dues 50 bucks a day to set it up. Yeah. And it's, you, to buy it's cheap and you can rent it out for 500 bucks a day. It's a good business. Nah, he's wow. doing great. Yeah, yeah. Natron it's a really good fucking business. Wow. I didn't know Bert was in the bouncy house business. <laughs> I had two daughters. I still have them, but I have two daughters. It's a Hell great deal. Yeah. For a day, yeah, you dog. rent one of those bouncers, especially the wet, the slip and slide one. That shit. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. That's $7.50. <laughs> $7.50. Yeah, that's extra. Extra for the water, you know what I mean? And you and him have been close for a long time? Yeah, yeah. Well, he like, he like my cousin, cousin. So Your actual cousin, I do believe that means. Yeah, 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 yeah. Second cousin. Second cousin. Wait, wait, yeah. I, that's, that's what that means? Yeah, what well, is no, it? no, he my real cousin. Cousin's cousin. That's, that's my cousin's cousin. cousin. I mean, I knew, him my whole, I knew him my whole life. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, when, when, you, when, when he says cousin, that could mean a friend of more than, like, a year. But if it's a cousin cousin, that means that it is your uncle or aunt's no, that's child. First, that's my first cousin's cousin. R what? Oh, Whoa. that's his yeah. second cousin. Yeah. Friend. Yeah. Cousin. Right. Yeah. Yep. Bobby yeah, was right. Yeah. They don't get to say dad, so they say cousin a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. 
Wow. Uh, that's not cool, but... <laughs> no, that's hilarious. <laughs> thank you, thank that's you. Is Natron's... I, I take that appreciation coming from you. You're funny as fuck. Is, <laughs> is Natron's dad in his life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark oh, okay. Emilio. Yeah. He, he didn't bounce? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> What's a real cousin then? Like, if my you were real, to say, like, a real cousin. My yeah. first cousin. That's my cousin. Uh, that might well, uh, Red Man, you're Joe Rogan's producer, producer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you, man. <laughs> you just worked with Shane Gillis this weekend for yeah, the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, that shit was fun. Yeah, oh, yeah. That amazing, was great. right? We was in Peoria and St. Louis. That shit was crazy, dog. Yeah. It was a good time. I saw snow for the first time. Yeah. Oh, Hell wow. yeah. I was frolicking and shit. It was crazy. <laughs> You were frolicking? I was frolicking, nigga. I was finna make a snow angel, but I got down, it was cold as shit, so I got up. But it was, yeah. it was fun, dog. I really enjoyed that shit, man. It was a good time, bro. Hell yeah. That shit was fun, bro. <laughs> okay, <laughs> one more bad joke. <laughs> when black guys make a snow angel, do you make it like this? <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't get it, that's supposed to be a dead body. <laughs> I fucking love this kid. He's amazing. <laughs> I'm telling you. I wish my son was black. <laughs> <laughs> you could you could adopt me, nigga. <laughs> my dad can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Lopez, everybody. The uh, back part of my dick is more dangerous than the front. <laughs> Not because it's big or nothing, but it means my stomach's pressing on you. It gets hard to breathe. <laughs> so I haul horses for a living, and I found myself up in Chicago making friends with thugs like one should. And I was deep in the conversation before I realized I don't think smoking pigs in Chicago is the same as in South Texas. <laughs> gang, gang. How does one become as manly as you? Just grew up in South Texas, I guess. I don't know. Even the women are manly down there. <laughs> some wow. of the, the women are some of the toughest young men you ever meet. <laughs> Carlos, you're funny as hell. How long you been doing stand-up? It's my first time ever. No fucking way. No fucking way. No way. No way. How long have you been planning uh, for this in your head? Fuck, probably since I was a kid. Wow, how old are you? 29. Oh my God, you're 29? <laughs> Holy what the hell? shit. Hey, but I fuck like I'm 16, I look 46. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. You are a fucking machine. This is unbelievable. And you haul, you haul horses? I haul horses for a living, yes, sir. Wow. So like the little horse carriage things with the horses? No? no You're I, saying no already. I haul horses like in a big truck, an 18-wheeler. Wow. wow. Oh, I think I hear them now. <laughs> no, that's my ex-wife. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Carlos Lopez is a fucking natural. Dude. <laughs> this is an epic first time on stage, brother. You are just a real fucking man. You, you have a lot of chest hair? I do, yeah, yeah. 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 I got all the taco meat, hold on. Oh my God, look at that. Oh. I've been growing it since I was a little girl. Oh my God. Wow. Tell me he's in love. I am. I am. I really am. I want to I wanna get on top of the old uh, Brokeback Mountain over here. Well, looking for you, this ain't a mustache, it's a saddle. Oh, well. Well, you know what? Well, you, you know what? I think, uh, I think we could trade belt buckles tonight. You know what I'm saying? When you're driving horses and you stop short, do they all fall? 
Yeah, they, they'll fall, break their legs and stuff. You got to be real careful. I think that all the time. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> That's why when people cut me off, I pull my gun out so they don't do it again. Wow. Now let's talk about your love life because seriously, you seem like you could walk up to any fucking woman in the world and have a chance at stealing them away from a man. Do you have any special like lines that you say with women or something like that? Hattie. Oh, that's it. That's all day. I just came in my pants for the first time since I, my first hangout with little Esther. I feel like he's got an answer for everything. He does. Let's be the woman yeah. hitting yeah. back on him. I want to see how quick he is. Okay. Okay. Who should be the woman here? Uh, I'm very excited about this. I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll yeah. do it. I like acting, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh my God, look at the thing he just did with his hair. You are a fucking. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. How you doing? Oh, you're asking me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's playing hard to get. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> hi. Patty. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Do you come here often or you wait till you get home? He's too good. I'd like to introduce you to her Asian friend, Bobby. <laughs> Oh, are you doing a scene? Yeah. yeah. We're all heading on. Start over. I want okay. to be Okay, okay. All right. What so do I play? What do I play? You're going to play. Asian chick. Yeah, you're going to be an Asian chick. Have you ever had sex with an Asian chick before? No, but I heard the cripple feet look better behind the ears. <laughs> oh. My. God. My mom does that. I remember. Jack Schwartz, everyone. Fun fact, turkeys can blush. Isn't that cute? Another fun fact, I'm pretty sure scientists are flirting with turkeys, bro. <laughs> Why do we know that? How did that experiment happen? It's just some dude walking up to a bunch of turkeys. He's like... Turkeys are like, oh my God, <laughs> stop. I can't with you. Oh, that's where that experiment ends. <laughs> I don't want to hear more. I don't want to hear a month from now. Fun fact, turkeys put out, bro. You can fuck turkeys. A lot of people say turkeys are dry me, not when I'm done with it. <laughs> Jack Schwartz. Um, what's your love life like? Uh, I'm in a relationship. Okay. And uh, what does she do? She's a comic. Whoa. Yeah. Boy, hey. Has she done the show? No. Oh, okay. She's in the waiting area, hoping to make it up, and it doesn't she seem good. Signed up? <laughs> what's up? She signed up. She did. Yeah. Okay. What's her name? Matilda Epstein. Matilda Epstein. Go grab Matilda Epstein. <laughs> I, I've always said that I've wanted it in Epstein on this show before. I've never gotten one. They're going to go grab her. The Kill Tony debut of Matilda Epstein, everybody. Here we go. Uh, my friend's dog ate all of my antidepressants recently. So I'm doing really well. Thank you so much for asking. Um, she was really mad at me. She was like, how could you leave these out? You could have killed them. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> That's, uh, that is what they were for. Um, the, the dogs are thriving. <laughs> they, they've actually never been better. Um, they're texting their friends back. They're, they're making their beds in the morning. They do have trouble reaching orgasm, but um, that's, that's okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't worry. It's still super easy to make them come. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wow. She's better than you! 
So I'm going to ask the question that your boyfriend uh, uh, somehow has never asked. Are you any relation to Jeffrey Epstein? Uh, no, I wish. No. Yeah. It's, so do I. That'd be so sick. That'd be a <laughs> great interview. Yeah. Um, where are you originally from? Maryland. Maryland. Yeah. Okay. The Did you start in state? Austin or Maryland? D.C. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah we're, right. we're from D.C. Okay. <laughs> oh, you guys are both from D.C. So you guys met each other in D.C. and moved out here? No, no we live in D.C. Oh, you guys still live in D.C.? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're just visiting. Huh. Get the fuck out of <laughs> here. Just crashing. <laughs> How long are you guys in town for? Till tomorrow. Oh, you fly back tomorrow? And let's see we want me to stay forever. No, we fly back tomorrow. <laughs> you go back tomorrow. She has yeah. stuff she needs to go get back, back tomorrow. to. Let's... <laughs> Let's... <laughs> she has dogs that need their Good. antidepressants waiting for them. <laughs> uh, very interesting. How long were you guys here for? Since Saturday. Okay. Yeah, a few days. So you came in on Saturday. Literally, you came in hoping to get on Kill Tony. Well, I'd, yeah, we hung out. We went to the Museum of Weird. Oh, okay. Was, if anyone would like to spend twenty dollars, it's a good place to do it. Wow, the it. rare Jewish wanting to spend money. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, amazing. You guys are breaking stereotypes down. <laughs> Martin Phillips, everybody. Uh, uh, you know, I don't like it that they uh, uh, they call Big Bird Big Bird. You know, you know, you don't think he's aware or he's an abnormally sized bird. You know. <laughs> You don't think he's seen other birds in the like, they're like uh, what the fuck? Uh, uh, I'm a monster. Oh my god. It's, it's just his name is a reminder of the curse he he bears. Uh, anyway, I I was at a, a coffee shop today. I went to the bathroom. They had a sign and said don't flush anything except toilet paper. I was like, oh man, what, what am I gonna do with all this shit? Huh? Oh my God, oh, oh. damn. Oh, fuck. Damn. God damn. You spit on me. Oh, it's not, dude. And, I do spit a lot when I talk. Yeah. That, that's it's true. Rude. Whatever you call it, you know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of saliva. <laughs> it's not contagious. <laughs> I knew it. What if it was? <laughs> <laughs> Wobbly Lee, perhaps. Ah. Reed Conklin, everybody. I met a hot girl on 6th Street the other day, and she was, like, really into me. So I knew something was up with her. Finally, after talking to her for over an hour, I realized that this woman is homeless. So I took her home. What was she going to say, no? I'm just mad I didn't notice it sooner. Like, I should have seen the signs. I mean, she was literally holding a sign. It ended up being some of the best sex I've ever had, though, once I got past the smell. She was a freak. This woman put the hoe in hobo. And not once did she ask me for change, but I did on the inside. I now have a UTI. I burn for this woman. I think we could all change. Change our view of the homeless and actions speak louder than words. So instead of saying, fuck the homeless, start fucking the homeless. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Reed Conklin. Welcome to the show. This is your first time here, right? Yeah. Yes. I'd remember if I've seen you before. You look like a giant sperm. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You do, you have a long, you have a tiny head for such long arms. You a swimmer? I swim, yes. <laughs> I bet. You must be unfucking believable. <laughs> You're like aerodynamic. Look how long your arms are. It's very bizarre. You know you're strangely built. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Reed, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, a couple years. Okay. What do you do for a living? I'm a traveling street performer. Okay. What do you do on the street? Um, so like a circus-style show? Juggle? I can juggle. I do like 
I, yeah, I can juggle. we get a few? Uh, can we get some limes from the service bar? Let's see. Are you, maybe some lemons. The lemons are a little bit easier to see, maybe, right? What else do you do in your uh, street performing? Uh, I do. I do a lot of uh, whip cracking these days. Whip cracking. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Uh, John D's not excited. I, Whoa. My. Read goodness. the room, you know. Here we go. I'm just gonna throw you some lines. Here we go, you ready? All right, start juggling and I'll keep throwing them to you. You want more? Oh shit. All right. Oh shit. Oh, whoa. All right, here, keep juggling. Here's one more. Can you juggle four? Whoa, hell yeah, this guy gets all the homeless pussy. You want another one? We got another lime? Uh oh, how about a hand for Christy, everybody? We got another lime here. We got a lot of limes. You'll be amazed with how many limes you can afford with a Spotify deal. <laughs> wow, look at that. That was great. You can keep those. I don't think we're gonna feed them to people after this. Fucking homeless people, being a street performer. You get to keep those limes. Thank you. <laughs> I've been to uh, 50 countries. Whoa, what's your favorite? I like- Thailand. I, like, I do like Vietnam. Oh, okay. Quite a bit, yeah. yeah. Why do you like it? It's just, it was beautiful. Everything's kind of easier to get to. It's, it's small, the food's good. People are nice, cheap. $2 sake sake. <laughs> All right, Red Pan. Red Pan. Yeah, he has it. His 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 soundboard is, is out of control. Fiance? What's that one? What's this one? Oh. The you. Wow. Uh huh. I'm in Texas, kind of performing at a at a fair, like three hours east, mm -hmm. at our Renaissance Festival. Ooh. Okay. What are you doing at the Renaissance Festival? Doing my whip cracking uh, show. Wow. What do you dress up like? I, I do say. wear the the pants and then some boots and a pirated shirt. Okay. In a white hood. <laughs> something scary about you at first but then when I saw you juggle now I feel safe yeah I do that before I talk to every pretty girl oh oh, oh wow. are you blind too <laughs> <laughs> well 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 British police are investigating the rape of a 15-year-old girl in the metaverse, and I'm just over here trying to figure out how Bill Clinton was able to squeeze his fat ass in there. Uh, an Indian tech CEO just died when the wire holding the cage he was being lowered down on during the opening ceremony snapped, causing him to fall and land on his head. Kind of crazy because you'd have thought his turban would have broken the fall. <laughs> Man, y'all know I don't like Indian people. Silence is violence. Shit, if that's true, I kind of wish my dad would have just given me the silent treatment instead. <laughs> okay, that's my time. Thank you. Boom. All right, all right. I don't know if y'all like Sumo Citrus, but they are actually my newest sponsor. They're really good. They're what, cute. What, yeah, what is that? It's a citrus fruit. Yeah, Red Band, I'm sure you're shaking your head, you fucking nasty what, what fat the fuck ass. I'm sure you don't know what a fucking fruit is, you <laughs> sickening piece of shit. Shut the don't fuck up. Don't come at me, don't, dumb don't ass. talk to me like that, you don't. bitch. Stop Whoa. acting. It's not genuine when you do it, Whatever, you Whatever, every time you talk, you smell like fish. It's not fucking genuine. Everybody knows you're acting, dumbass. Seriously, stop, stop fucking stop trying stop to act tough to up here, you Whatever, dumbass. Whatever, fish mouth. Why are you fish yelling mouth? over them? <laughs> Uh, what? what is fish mouth mean, you're, you're you fucking mouth. idiot? Stop! <laughs> oh my god. So fish mouth? Oh, that's a good one, idiot! Red Band's standing up for himself, kind of. 
<laughs> just Every call time it talks, fish it mouth? smells like fucking pussy that's moldy or something. Stop talking. Oh, that's actually funny. Oh, oh yeah? fish mouth. Wow, My you breast smells like pussy. Oh, good one. I get it now, dumbass. Yeah, drink some more, you fucking yeah, nasty wh- alcoholic. Why don't, you, why don't you drink some more soda water, you bitch? Uh, soda water. Huh? huh? Uh, I can't even understand. Uh, Yo, uh, dumb. Uh, okay, okay, Red Man. I really hope my baby can't hear yet. <laughs> What does that mean, bitch? <laughs> Our baby has no ears, William. Good night, everybody. Thank you. We love you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>